Growing concerns from the largest hospital system in North Alabama as the number of people in the hospital with coronavirus rises this evening. Way 31 Sophia Borelli spoke one on one today with the Huntsville Hospital president. Sophia. Huntsville Hospital System released new numbers today, and I want to break down those numbers for you because hospital officials want to show you how serious this virus is, and you really need to make sure that you take it seriously. Tracy Doty told me as of today, there are 69 people in the hospital in Madison County with COVID. A month ago, there were 17. That's quadruple the amount of people in the hospital fighting the virus in just a month. He told me the rate at which people are coming to to the hospital to get treatment for the virus is alarming. This could take off and, and, and put us in a bad situation pretty quickly. You don't see people wearing masks as much as they used to. Uh, so you uh, and then put that on top of the, the Delta variant is uh, that much more transmissible. And uh, that, that really sends worries to us as a hospital system. He also told me that about 90%, 95% of the people who are coming to the hospital for COVID were unvaccinated. He stressed the need for people to get vaccinated. He said they are prepared if they get more people coming to the hospital for COVID. But again, he is stressing that people need to go get that vaccine if they can and if they're eligible. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sophia Borelli, Way 31 News. Thanks, Sophia. The Huntsville Hospital System includes facilities across the region. Inpatient numbers are going up in nearly every county. In the past 24 hours, Athens Limestone added two patients. Decatur Morgan added four. Red Bay added two and Marshall Medical South added two. Another concerning development, there was a more than 50% increase in ICU patients. Yesterday's update said 27 people were in the ICU. Now there are 42. The state health 